Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create an index of entries or topics for formal papers or long documents. This process is similar in nature to creating a table of contents. First you mark the subjects or topics that you want to reference within the index. Then you compile the index in much the same way that you created the table of contents. You can create multiple sub-entries and even cross-reference entries within your index. Start by clicking the References tab in the ribbon. In the References tab, you use the buttons that are available in the Index group to mark your text and create your index. First, let's examine the process of marking text or a range of pages for inclusion within the index. If you want to include a word or phrase, you can start by selecting the word or phrase that you want to include from the text within your document. Then click the Mark Entry button that appears in the Index group on the References tab in the ribbon. That will open the Mark Index Entry dialog box. If you selected text from your document, it will appear in the Main Entry text box. If you did not select any text, then you may simply type the entry that you want to make into the Main Entry text box. In the Sub-Entry text box, you can enter an index entry that falls under the more general index entry above if needed. If you want to create a third level entry, then you can enter the sub-entry into the sub-entry text box, followed by a colon symbol, followed by the third level index entry. In the options section, you can choose how to present the index entry. If you want to create a cross-reference, then choose that option and enter the text for the cross-referenced index entry after the word C in the adjacent text box. If you want to make a straightforward index entry, then select the current page option in the options section. If you want to format the page numbering for a normal index entry, you can check either or both the bold or italic checkboxes in the page number format section. At that point, if you simply want to mark only the current index entry, then you can click the mark button. To mark all occurrences of the text within the whole document, then you can select the Mark All button instead. This will insert the index entry field or fields into the selected location or locations within the document. Notice that this dialog box will remain open after marking the text so that you can continue marking index entries without having to close and reopen the dialog box over and over again. Now if you want to make a multi-page index reference, then the process is a bit different. First, you will need to select the range of text that you want to include as a multi-page reference. Then you will need to click the bookmark button in the links group on the insert tab in the ribbon. That will open the bookmark dialog box. A bookmark is simply a reference to a section of text. In the bookmark name text box, type a name for the bookmark. Now note that the name cannot contain spaces, but may contain letters and numbers. Then click the Add button to add the bookmark to the list shown in the dialog box. Next, click into the document at the end of the text that you selected and set as a bookmark. Then click the Mark Entry button that appears in the Index group on the References tab of the ribbon. Set the Index entry for the marked text as normal. However, this time, click the Page Range Option button in the Options section of the dialog box, then select the name of the bookmark that you just created from the adjacent dropdown. 
make any other settings as desired, and then click the Mark button to mark the page range entry. Now once you've marked your index entries for inclusion, click into your document at the position where you want to insert your index. Then click the Insert Index button that appears in the Index group on the References tab within the ribbon. This will open the Index dialog box and display the Index tab within the dialog box. Here you can set the appearance of the index that will be created. In the Print Preview section at the top of the dialog box, you will see a preview of how the index would appear when printed. To the right of the preview, you will see the Type options, Indented or Run-In. Select the style that you prefer. Below that, you enter the number of columns that you want your index to display. Below the preview, you can check the Write Align Page Numbers checkbox in order to write align the page numbers in your index if desired. If you choose to write align the page numbers, then you may select the type of leader to use from the Tab Leader drop-down. You can select a different format to use for your index by choosing a different selection from the Formats drop-down. Once you've made your formatting selections in the Index dialog box, you can then just click the OK button at the bottom of the dialog box to insert the index into your document. The index in Word, just like the table of contents, is actually a field. And like all fields, you can toggle the display of the field code between the index's contents and the field's display by clicking into the index and then pressing Shift plus the F9 key on your keyboard. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.